Hi my friends, today we create this model and we try to apply dynamic simulation in order to see how it works. Having all the drawings you can manufacture the parts of this gadget and check if the real dynamics match the simulation. You see there are a lot of movements there with uh, really fun diagram or trace. At minute zero zero thirty thirty seconds of each tutorial, I invite you to research the general index table file. You have there the links to the tutorials as seen in this snippet of the file. Over time, I have created many models of this kind. And now I try again to propose you to apply the dynamic simulation offered by Inventor. Just try, my friends. These are the components of the model. And each of them have its drawing. This is the pedestal. You see, it is made of wood and it has dimensions here. Nothing simpler than this. Oh, this is simpler. <laughs> this is the shaft. Stand, all dimensions are here. Stick long with two holes. Stick short with also two holes. And the shortest stick is this one. We go back to the assembly and we apply constraints to create the model. Mate aligned this face with uh, this face. Apply. Then A face to another face. Apply. Now I move it a little in order to have room for applying the other constraint. Constraint this face to be in contact with this face. Apply. Then we use insert with the opposed parts. And we constrain this to holes. Apply. Then other two holes are constrained. And then the last part are, is constrained. Apply. Now I change to aligned because I select each end of the shafts to place them there. Inventor doesn't need these uh, uh, shafts. You can work without them and nothing is changed because constraints are enough. The last one 
has to be placed on the back okay you cannot say that this is something uh, difficult we go directly to the dynamic simulation we try to apply simulation now and it doesn't make anything look here one second nothing happens why why because there are no forces implied here we have to double click on gravity the only force we use to select an edge a vertical edge and I change the direction to be natural okay I click on the name to eliminate the symbol and now I apply 10 seconds instead of one second and we try again to create a simulation look here oh <laughs> you see what happens and I'm sure that uh, each of you know that this is very simple a very simple combination of parts you can make other thing you go back and select trace I change the color from black to red and I select an origin you see here Then we start again the movement and we see a trace of that selected point. We wait for 10 seconds and that's all. Now you can uh, save uh, this uh, trace in a sketch how we go back no I don't go back I activate the output grapher I apply here traces I select my trace and I export sketch that trace I have to select the face of a part to connect that sketch with a part with that part this face is very good this is the face of the pedestal yes not any other object from there and we have this uh, new uh, detail you see it is attached to the to this face of the pedestal if we want to use this uh, trace we get out from the dynamic simulation we select the pedestal and you see this sketch is part of this uh, data connected with the pedestal and you can do anything with that sketch more details you can uh, find by accessing any of these uh, tutorials 44, 45 and so on to 250 
to find out more about this uh, nice and uh, interesting domain of dynamic simulation. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.